Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Happy Friday to everyone. Okay guys, I am getting ready to show you guys some um, crochet items that I have completed and what's on my crochet hook. Before I get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. Guys, it has been cold here in Chicago, and I'm really, really glad about it. Um, I've been hearing some of you guys' video and even seeing some of you guys' video, and you guys have been showcasing the weather, the snow. Um, a lot of you guys haven't experienced snow probably in a while, but I'm in Chicago. We get snow all the time. So anyway, guys, I wanted to stop in today to show you guys or share with you guys what I have been working on while it's been cold outside. This is like the perfect time for me to crochet, mainly because I use a lot of acrylic yarn, red heart acrylic yarn or acrylic yarn in general, and that tends to be a, a hotter or warmer yarn to use. So this is the perfect time for me to whip up some things and get them all situated in case I have an event or whatever I'm planning on doing uh, for the spring, for the summer, or whenever. Um, so guys, let me show you guys what I have been working on. Now, I was visiting my, uh, my play mom, and while visiting her... I had brought a bag of my crochet. I told you guys, I bring crochet wherever I go. So I took some crochet uh, yarn and stuff, working on some things over to her house. And she had mentioned uh, for me to make her a crochet dish towel. So I was like, okay. She said she had some before and they was really good to use and whatnot. So by me having some yarn and specifically some cotton yarn on me, I whipped her up a really um, kind of big uh, dishcloth, you know, and she had really loved this dishcloth. So she was like, um, can you make me some more? I'll pay for them. And I'm like, mom, you know, good and well, I'm not going to charge you for me making you some dish towels. But I was really excited to make it for her and I was washing some of her dishes out using the dish towel and I never, I have made dish, uh, dish towels before but I never use them. I always make them to pretty much to sell them or something like that. I only made uh, a batch just one time before. But after using the dish towels, I was like really impressed on, you know, you don't have to put, you know, too much sud in there, dish liquid in there and it washed really really well so I think about making myself some as well so I went on and made her some more of uh, some dish towels and what I did was because I did have um, cotton yarn available what I did was um, just use it and I didn't make these as big so here is the first one that I made I just made a square and with each one of these, I put a little hook on here. So when she wash them, she could just hang them up until she want to use it again or, you know, something like that. So here's the first one. And you guys know I did my favorite stitch around the edge, which is the Pico stitch. And I just, like I said, I just made them with a little uh, handle to it. Yeah. If you guys need me to show you how I make my dish towel, I think I'm going to do a tutorial on it. Please make sure you leave that in the comments below. Um, but these are some really simple dishcloths, but I thought they was really beautiful at the same time. So that was the first one that I did using all cotton yarn. I believe this is the peaches and cream. I believe so. Then the next one. Now, I made one in black and white, and this variegated black and white that you see right there, this is all that I had left of this yarn right here. So, this one is not as big, you know, as big as this one right here, but I thought this still a nice size to make a dishcloth. And again, 
like I say, they all come with the little handles. And then this one as well, I did the Pico stitch. And it feels good too. Cotton always feels good. So yeah, that was one. And then here's one that is pretty much a fun one. Now this one is using up um, just smaller pieces of my cotton yarn. So I had some white. I had the variegated red, white, and blue. I had some cotton, that blue right there, and I had some pink. So here's this one. And because this one has the uh, different, um, you know, different colors in here, I thought I'll make this one with a little more smoother edges. So I just made it, you know, like this. I didn't think this one, because it had the... Uh, different colors I didn't think it needed to be loud with the um you know a simple or stitch I didn't think it needed to be you know so elegant but yeah that is one as well so I just made her these three right here I do have some this is the only cotton yarn that I have left I believe so I'll be doing a tutorial if you guys are interested I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make this one specifically with the handle um, you know if you want me to I'll be making a tutorial for that one so those are the three that I'm going to be giving to her today I know she's gonna be super excited she already know that I was gonna be making her some so I think she's gonna be really excited to see those what do you guys think of those towels right there Another thing that I made, guys, I did a tutorial on this hat right here. Okay, I did a tutorial on this hat and not with the brim, only with the front post and back post. So this is a basic beanie and then I did four rows of the front post and back post. But I told you guys, I didn't finish... Um, the head all completely in the tutorial, but because I wanted to make a brim. What do you guys think about that brim right there? Now, anytime that I'm doing uh, brims on hats, I use two strands of yarn, and usually those two strands of yarn is the um, four ply yarn. This one here, using thread with the four ply, it didn't give me as thick of consistency I would love to have. But I think it still worked out. So I think it worked out so nicely anyway. So there it is. I have a tutorial on how to make these hats with the brim using the two strands of yarn for the brim. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave that in the description box below. And also the tutorial on how to make this portion of the hat with the front post. And the back post yeah the pink and the blue it worked out really nice guys it worked out really nice now um this hat is available for sale it's not on my Etsy website uh, if you are interested in this particular hat right here I will all you would need to do is uh, leave a comment and um, Get in contact with me via email, via email, and I can send you over a secure PayPal invoice. And once the invoice is paid, then I can get this shipped out to you. Now, this one here, I did not make any crochet earring with this one right here. Um, you get to choose what type of earring you want. It comes as a set, so it's no additional cost for the earring. When I made these hats using the two different yarns. I made some earrings, um, granny square. I did a, um, a round one, like a circle one. And then I did the spiral one. So if you're interested in this hat, you get to tell me which of those pairs of earrings you would like. Um, I do have a video where I'm showing you these hats with the earrings. You can check that out and decide which pair of earrings you would like for me to make because I will only make the kind that the person wants who is going to purchase this lovely hat right here. So contact me, you know, via email for pricing and all that good stuff, and I'll get that information to you. 
but I really love how that combination of the pink and the blue worked out. I have one without the brim, like in a black and like an ivory color, and I got a white with a variegated color, and I got a tan one with a cream looking color. So I have, I still have those available as well. So this is the new addition, and I really like how that looks. Okay, so yeah, I have some more of both of these yarns. Um, I might be making a, what do you call it? I might be making a cow neck to go along with this one here. If you're interested in me making it, you know, it's a, a full set with a cow neck, the earrings, and the hat. Let me know, and I can get that one whipped up for you and shipped out to you. Just contact me for pricing and all that good stuff all right guys <sighs> let me tell you guys about this sweater that i have on i finally completed it yes i am so happy i completed my sweater that you guys see me wearing right here it's in black so i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but let me stand up so i can show you guys this sweater i am so proud of this sweater I think this is the first sweater that I made for myself. Now, I have made plenty of sweaters, but I never really made a sweater for myself. So, I'm so proud to have made this sweater for myself. And I think that is the reason why I prolonged the process because I know that this is a really simple sweater. But I know if I was making this sweater for someone, this sweater would have been done a long time ago. But any case it's done let me show you guys how it looks on i hope you guys are able to see it really good so here it is i had it so it just came a little bit past my thighs okay it's a little long like this i have enough so i can cuff it a little bit i have my my sleeves super long so i'm able to roll the sleeve up to give it some fashion and this is how it looks the back look exactly like the front okay the back look exactly like the front but there it is i was undecided if i wanted to do a turtleneck you know to bring it up as a turtleneck but i thought this sweater would be good for now as well as spring as well and with a turtleneck I didn't, I didn't know if that was going to be okay. So I stopped it by two, doing what I do. I did two rows of single crochet because it came, it was a little bit like off my, my neck right here. So to bring it in, I just um, did two rows of single crochet so I can get the fit that I was looking for. And that was the fit. And I started off with this one as a uh, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, repeat. But I think once I got to like my bust area, I went double crochet all the way to complete this project. And yeah, this is how it looks. Yep, this is how it looks. This is how it looks. Okay, so... But this is how it looks. Can you guys see that pretty well? Yeah. I love these sleeves because I have them super, super long um, that I can roll it up, put my nice watch on, put my jewelry on, and this is how it looks on. Yep. So, yeah. All right, guys. That is the sweater. Um, I might get some people who ask me, you know, to do a tutorial this is something that's so simple. I will be writing this one up as well. It, it already, I already got started with writing it up. And then I just wanted to make sure um, what I wanted to finish with it. So I could just put the ending part, which is going to be really simple. Whoever is interested in making this simple scars. And I love it. When you're doing the um, half double crochet, double crochet, and when you do the treble, you see how fashionable that is to have that opening so therefore I can wear this 
in the spring as well. And I probably can even get away with it with one of my uh, tank tops un underneath in the summertime. But by doing this pattern right here, which is half, double, treble, it gave me that opening that I am loving, but the closeness, you know, around this area right all through here. Okay, so yeah, I love it. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I think you guys can see it well enough. I was getting ready to put on, and I didn't even grab it. I thought I grabbed it. I was going to put on my choker, but I really wanted you guys to get a good look on how this looks on. Really simple, really beautiful, and I absolutely love it. It's my first one for myself. I'm telling you guys, I will make everyone everything before I make myself something. Any other crocheters do that? I be so busy trying to make everything for everyone else or pretty much everything for sale, um, sometimes I forget about myself. And then when I finally um, made something for myself, I made myself a really nice big slouchy beanie. It was in a, a peckable or whatever color yarn it was. My daughter saw me or seen me wearing it and she was like, oh my, that would look so good on me. And y'all know I gave it up in case you didn't know. When she asks me for something, especially something to do with crocheting, and she gets to wear it, and she's my, she's my, um, what is my, like, my human display, or whatever you want to call it, she gets to uh, bring orders to me, because a lot of people love her in my crochet items. I got a lot of sales by her wearing crochet stuff, so when she told me, Ma, she really looks good with this crochet hat on and my star that I have finally made for myself. Now, I'm not giving this up. Nope. I'm not giving this up because I know my daughter going to see this one here and she is going to want to wear it. We pretty much are the same size, so she ain't getting this one. This is my first one and I am keeping it for myself. What do you guys got planned for the weekend? Any plans for the weekend? I'm trying to, um, you know, figure out what more I want to do for the weekend. I think I want to try, like, they open up a new sip and paint. I've been watching um, some people videos that does, you know, go to those different events for the sip and paint. And um, I would like to try that out. I never, I never been to one. Anyone ever been to a sip and paint and... How did you enjoy it? All the videos that I have seen, looks like you guys really have a lot of fun doing them. So I think um, since they have one new around my house, I am definitely going to, um, I am going to be checking that out. And so I want to videotape that. I want you guys to see my whole experience with me at the Sip and Paint and what they're going to have us painting. And so I definitely want to do that for the winter. I be trying to get into things for the winter time so you don't get end up with the winter blues um i hope you guys enjoyed that um if you have not seen the my prepping i am going to do i was going through my kitchen cabinets and i found uh, a lot more of my tableware so i am going my next time i show you guys my food prep because i'm telling you i'm all about the food prep right now so the next video that I show you guys about the food prep, I'm going to show you a, a whole week's worth. So I'm pulling out all my Tupperware, rewashing them, and then I'm going to set it up so you can see my breakfast and my lunch for the week. And then, you know, my dinners are when I get home with my dinner. So you guys will see that at a later time. But definitely seeing my breakfast and my lunch. And I'm telling you guys, by me doing that, I, I feel much better. I know it only been a few days, but I still feel much better because I'm really quick to say, you know, let me just run through a drive through somewhere or let me just stop and get something to eat somewhere. So it's helped me to be a little bit more disciplined in what's going into my temple. So, yeah, so I want to take care of my body and take care of my mind and my, my finances and everything like that. 
All right, guys, I think that is it. I am loving my sweater. I'm loving my sweater. I'm really loving this sweater, guys. And if you are interested in how I made this sweater right here, I will be getting the patterns together. I went on to Etsy website on my on my Etsy shop, and I just got to figure out how to load the um how to load them onto the website. You know how you do the pattern on the website. If I'm not able to do that before the week is out, and hopefully before um, the month is out, I'm gonna have to go another route, which would be through PayPal. You know, I can send it uh, via email if I had to do that, but I'll try to figure it out. If you're interested in this one, let me know, cause I'm gonna have all these available uh, for you guys to make. And I'm telling you guys, when you make them, you're gonna, be, you're gonna really say, she shouldn't really took that long to make it, but it happens and yeah, so now I have nothing on my crochet hook, and that is not going to last too long because I always got to have something on whip, so I need to find out what I'm going to put on whip. Like I said, I might be doing that bee sweater. What do you call it? The bee scarf with the new burnet yarn that I'll be using, so stay tuned to see those uh, bee scarves. I see everyone is making. They are really, really lovely. It could be something that you guys are interested in, so I'll be bringing you that. Also, guys, on my website, um, you'll see that a lot of my prices has been reduced. I still am, um, I'm still doing free shipping. It's already included um, on the website. So the free shipping is still going on. So go over there and check out my website and see those reduced prices. You might see something that you still are interested in and all that good stuff. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of my returning subscribers. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have been enjoying you guys' videos as well. So let's continue to support one another. Um, it's definitely needed, you know, when you're doing this. It really helps out a great deal. All right, guys, I think that is all. I was just thinking I don't want to miss anything. I think that is all that I wanted to come by and share with you guys today. Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. If you have not already subscribed, there should be a small subscribe button at the bottom or the top. Please make sure you click on your notary bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos and all that good stuff. All right, guys, until next video. Always remember Yah Psalm 684 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you guys in the next video really, really soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Okay. Bye.